In clinical studies, Zoloda has demonstrated efficacy in breast and colorectal cancer. Zoloda is an orally administered non-cytotoxic prodrug which becomes active when converted systemically to 5-fluorouracil. Zoloda is unique from other fluoropyrimidines in that it is preferentially activated by high levels of thymidine phosphorylase in tumor cells, resulting in high, sustained, and cytotoxic intracellular 5-fluorouracil levels. What are the molecular mechanisms underlying this selective cytotoxic effect? Following administration, Zoloda is absorbed in the intestine. Zoloda is preferentially activated in a three-step enzymatic cascade. The first two steps occur primarily in the liver. Zoloda is first enzymatically converted to 5'-deoxy-5-fluorocytidine, or 5'-DFCR, by carboxyl esterase. 5' DFCR is then converted by cytidine deaminase to another intermediate molecule, 5' deoxy 5 fluorouridine, 5' DFUR. 5' DFUR enters the circulatory system in the liver and is distributed throughout the vasculature, including the tumor's vascular supply. The third and final step preferentially occurs inside tumor cells where the enzyme thymidine phosphorylase converts 5' DFUR to 5-FU. Zoloda therefore generates 5-FU in the tumor, which inhibits thymidylate synthase, a critical enzyme in DNA synthesis. This allows Zoloda to preferentially generate high levels of 5-fluorouracil within tumor cells. In a clinical study in colorectal cancer, patients who received Zoloda had on average a three times higher concentration of 5-fluorouracil in tumor tissue compared to adjacent healthy tissue. Clinical studies have demonstrated the thymidine phosphorylase is overexpressed in a wide variety of solid tumors. Thymidylate synthase is most active during S phase when cells are synthesizing DNA in preparation for cell division. Zoloda inhibits DNA synthesis and is therefore most active against cells that are in S phase. Cells which are not in S phase are less susceptible to any of its effects. Therefore, it is important to achieve sustained levels of cytotoxic presence within the tumor so that all tumor cells are exposed to the cytotoxic effect when they enter S phase. Tumors contain a heterogeneous mixture of cells, with some dividing very rapidly and others more slowly or not at all. Prolonged cytotoxic exposure may be necessary for anti-tumor activity because cancer cell proliferation is highly unregulated. Because Zoloda is administered twice daily, 14 out of 21 days, sustained levels of cytotoxic activity are successfully maintained within the tumor. In summary, Zoloda achieves tumor cell kill through its cytotoxic activity, which is due to the preferential mechanism by which Zoloda is activated by thymidine phosphorylase within tumor cells.